safiri zilisitishwa kwa muda mapema hii leo kwenye barabara kuu ya Naro kwenda Maimahu. Wenyeji waliojaa wanahamaki walifunga barabara na kuwasha moto wakilalamikia ongezeko la ajali eneo hilo. Jana usiku ajali iliyohusisha lori la mafuta na magari mengine mawili huku dereva na taniboi wake wakiteketea hadi kufa kwenye ajali hiyo ambayo ilitokea katika eneo la duka moja mwendo wa saa unusu. Maimai hiu, wenyeji waliojawa na hasira, walichoma magurudumu ya gari na kufunga barabara hii kulalamikia ajali za kila mara eneo hilo. Wenyeji hao sasa wanataka maafisa usalama kutoa kizuizi barabarani humo ambacho wamelaumu kwa ajali hiyo. Kuna nyo wameumia lakini wale tumeshudia wamekufa wamekuluwa na moto wamechomeka kabaki mfupa pekeni mtu mmoja mwenye likuwa kwa itrela. Shida yetu ni road block. Na tuletea shida kila siku. Gari kikata break bali na katia huko, inauwa watu kwa roadblock. Na roadblock ndi inauwa gari kwa sababu singine sinakuja mchana, sinaenda msuri, sinaenda inasimama kwa hila mpokani ya asuso huko. Roadblock itoke, iende huko mustuni, yuwapa ni mulima, na hiyo ndi inamalisa. Mafisa usalama waliregesha hali ya utulivu na kuhakikishia wenyeji hao kwa mba ombilao litazingatiwa na kizuizi hicho kita ondolewa. Polisi wamesema hiyo kitu kama wanainji wataki itatolewa na wamekubaliana. Because hiyo roadblock inaonekana vile lori moja ilianguka hapa ni vile walirushia hiyo kitu kwa lori ndiyo sasa ikashika hiyo mamugu zake ndiyo kaanguka. Polisi hapa wamesema wamekubali watatua hiyo roadblock. Barabara ya maimai hiyo kuelekea Narok imeshuhudia visa vingi vya ajali barabarani kikiwemo kile cha agosti 1213 kilicho itikisa nchi baada ya watu 43 kufariki. Miezi miwili iliyopita watu watano walifariki na wengine kumi kujeruhiwa kwenye ajali ya barabara eneo hilo tu. Mary Mwoki, KTN News. Itukia chana na hayo ni kwa maspika wa bunge katika eneo la bonde la ufa. Wamempa makataa ya siku saba katibu mkuwa chama chajubili. Rafael Tuju iliaeze kuamba msamaha kwa madai ya kutoa matamshi ambayo ya lilenga kuigawanya chama chajubili. Au sivo wa shinikize wanachama wa jubili kutolipa ada ya chama tawala. Wakizungumza mjini Eldoret, maspika hao pamoja na wakilishu wa wadi. Wamemtaka vile vile Tuju ajuzulu. Lakini wakati huo huo mbunga wa Mwibwensa ila Stiren amepuzilia mbali madai hayo na kuataka wakumbatie salamu zo patanisho baina ya raisi uhuru kenyata na Raila Odinga. And we are, we are telling to you categorically, if he is not supportive of the leadership of Jubilee, let him resign, let him join Raila or whoever wants to join and leave our Jubilee party alone. Yes. And if he's not going to do so, we are giving him seven days to apologize or resign or else we are going to it all in the subscription that we are making to that Jubilee party. What we want to state here and now is that we will not allow a referendum that only goes to benefit certain individuals. The today's so-called unshake is really not an unshake to bring peace, but an unshake to create positions for other people. Handshake at the Joanna Ubaya because he may unite Kenya because Muna Kumuka Wakatio Kenya and Kuime Gawanyika. Muna Kumuka, a former Prime Minister, Alienda Baka Kakua sworn in, Nalikua Nawatiaki, Nuskarumu Nusu ya Kenya. Napande took on a president and Yuko official, Nako Nawatiaki. So, come out to me and lay him, Nagriza Ayata to Kona Kana Nini Hapa. Na mtizamaji ni ruhusu ni pige tamala maji usiende mbali ntarudi na tarifa tendeti.